Drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to chapter three, season two. Here we go, the final update of chapter three, season one. And we've got a ton of new information to do with the live event and season two. Here is everything we know, starting with the live event or lack of live event, should I say. I've spoken about this a lot in previous videos and also hinted at the fact that there might not even be a live event at the end of this season and that this season is just a build up for the war that's happening in season two. It was the last update of this season and leakers haven't found any hints to suggest there's going to be a live event. I mean, it's kind of annoying because there has been so many hints, but it looks like this live event is now going to be taking place in season two. The distant groans of the monster found in the files, the return of Paradigm and her robot who we just found out today, the seventh one back because she is their pilot. Now, the reason we know there isn't going to be a live event is because there's no files to do with it and also the sign is confirmed that the war will be in the next season. Soon, we will be at war with the imagined order. The seven will lead the way. So that is when the live event is going to be. Put it like this. Season one is just a build up for season two. We've got the earthquakes. They're going to get stronger and stronger towards the end of the season. We're going to have warning messages appear up on your screen as the imagined order continue drilling. Think about it. It would be a bit weird to have a live event back to back. Normally, they're like every other season. It just means we've got a lot to expect in season two. Talking about season two, let's talk about everything we know, including new leaks, starting with the return of helicopters. It seems like we have an endless amount of ways to manoeuvre around the map now in Chapter 3. I mean, it's been amazing so far. We've got the jump pads, Clombo, you've got cars, the sliding mechanic, web grapplers, and a ton more. This season was obviously the collab of Spider-Man, and as you know, come the end of the season, we say bye to everything to do with that collab. That means the point of interest this season, known as the Daily Bugle, is going to be gone. Web bouncers, gone. And even the mythic web grapplers. Yeah, they're going too. That means we need something to replace the web grappler in terms of maneuverability. Say hello to the helicopter. Yeah, it's finally making a return. In the recent trailer to show off the new Naomi Osaka skin, look what's back. The helicopter running through the canyon that we have on the Fortnite map. Funnily enough, the last time we saw helicopters was all the way back in Season 2 of Chapter 2 with the agency. The loop, as you know, repeats itself. It looks like helicopters will be making a return for Season 2. And I mean, it's going to fit in perfectly with the reality war theme. Talking about war themes, welcome to Season 2. Similar to Chapter 2 Season 2, Chapter 3 Season 2 will be a war between the Seven and Imagined Order. Similar to Ghost vs. Shadow. The Seven will have a brand new workshop added to the map in Season 2 for when Paradigm returns. Where this is going to be located, we're not too sure right now. I'm thinking it's going to be inside the volcano. I mean, it would be the perfect place for when the Daily Bugle is removed. Similar to Chapter to season two, both teams will be commanding outposts across the map as they try to gain control over the island and most importantly, the zero point. The imagined order is run by Gino. They work in the center of the map known as the bridge to harness the power of the zero point to create the game known as Fortnite. Working for the imagined order we've seen is Dr. Sloan and once upon a time, both Midas and John Jones. We might be seeing an appearance from all these characters come season two in this wall. I mean, there's been tons of hints about Midas, which we're going to be talking about in a minute. The Imagine Order, they are currently working on cloning the Catus monster for next season. Then there is the Seven. They're made up of, yep, yeah, you can guess, seven members. The leader being the Foundation. We've been introduced to the scientist who's been trying to get in contact with Paradigm to get back home. We've seen the visitor. The last three is the Origin. This is what he looks like. And then we've got both the sisters who the Foundation is currently trying to find. The Seven's mission is pretty simple. It's to stop the Imagine Order from using the Zero Point and to leave the island to rest. In season two, we will more than likely be seeing an appearance from all of the members of the Seven because so far we haven't seen them all together. That means we'll finally be able to see the sisters and the origin skin in game. They might even be part of the battle pass. With the new season comes new weapons. Chapter three saw a big overhaul in the weapons department with a ton of awesome guns we can add to our inventory.
inventory. Some weapons that have been teased to us this season haven't actually made it into the game yet. They include the mythic scoped AR as well as the tactical shotgun as seen from this loading screen. Both weapons we've seen before in Fortnite but it will make great additions to the gameplay for season 2. If you didn't know, the pump shotgun we have in game right now is literally part of the OG original tactical shotgun. How mad is that? The mythic scope AR is also linked with the brand new doomsday device location which we're going to be talking about in a minute. The scoped AR is very familiar to a gun that we currently have in chapter 3, the MK7. If Fortnite are wanting to expand this mechanic, the scoped AR would be perfect. And these are the two weapons that were supposed to come out this season, but haven't. So they're definitely coming out in season 2. So the new mythic scoped AR is linked with this brand new Doomsday device location. This is where I introduce the return of Midas and the Doomsday device. It's no secret that Midas is living on the Fortnite island right now. Even though it looks like he got killed at the beginning of the season 3 trailer, Donald Mustard has since gone on to say that he's still alive. Recently, the Doomsday device got updated as a brand new point of interest. Strange, right? He played such an important part in the storyline, it'd be kind of fitting for him to return for next season's big war. But what side will he join? The Imagined Order or the Seven? Funnily enough, there is a connection between Midas and the Imagined Order. Remember, way back in the day, Midas used to be a part of the Imagined Order school. There you can see Dr. Sloan teaching the class. And he ended up departing the Imagined Order and creating his own alliance. That's how he learned how to stop the Fortnite loop by breaking the storm. So maybe when Midas does come back, he'll join forces with the Imagined Order? We'll have to see. But he also could be a part of the Seven. Maybe he left the Imagined Order because he didn't like the way they were working with the Zero Point. Midas and the Seven both have the same objective. Midas tried to break the Fortnite loop by destroying the Storm, and the Seven want to stop the Fortnite loop by destroying the Imagined Order. Maybe Midas isn't a bad guy after all. Now we've spoken about helicopters. What about this? A brand new vehicle. The tank vehicle. Yeah, Epic Games are currently working on this tank. This just adds to the whole reality war theme that's going to be happening in Season 2. The fight between the Imagined Order and the Seven. The drills we currently have on the map right now have these tyre treads. And the same tyres are going to be used on this tank. So more than likely, it's going to be a creation by the Imagined Order. I assume one seat will be for the driver. And the other seat will be to man maybe a missile or turret on top. This is the drivable vehicle that Tabor Hill was on about a couple of months ago and it's pretty clear that it's going to be a tank coming to season two the return of jetpacks now this i'm all for with the web grapplers being removed what about adding jetpacks back into fortnite hypex recently tweeted saying how epic games are now working on a jetpack chest that will most likely be available in season two i mean fortnite aren't shy when it comes to adding old items back into the game at the right time it would make perfect sense for the jetpacks to return. And that is everything you need to know about Chapter 3 Season 2. All the new features that are going to be arriving in game. As always, I've picked out a pretty cool video up on screen here that I think you might like. I've picked it specially for you. I'll see you over there.